Today and Will at Home, we're going to create some Fobo soup. So, first thing we're going to do for the Fobo is create a stock. So, I've made it beforehand, so I'll just tell you the recipe. So basically what we've done is I've taken some pork bones, I've taken some uh, short rib beef bones, and I've also put some bone marrow. And basically I've washed them in salt, and uh, then I've brought it up to the boil. And it's important that you soak your, your bones for about a good couple of hours, because you want the blood to withdraw out. Otherwise, you get quite a murky sort of stock. And so then what I've done is boiled it up, taken off the scum, threw away the stock and created a new one. I do it in a slow cooker because a slow cooker for me is the best result. No one's gonna knock the hob and start boiling and make your soup all uh, cloudy. The trick for Fobo is having a little scent of cinnamon and black cardamom, but it shouldn't be too strong. So what I do is I char some carrots, I char just on a grill, and you just char or just on the stove with a cooling rack on top, and then, so we char onion, that's half cooked, carrot, ginger, and then I put in some white pepper, some one uh, black cardamom, that's the black nut, and then a little bit of cinnamon and a little bit of star anise, and that's it. Nothing more than that, and nothing less than that. And also you can put a little bit of coriander root in as well. So I cooked that for about 12 hours, slowly cooking, and now I have a wonderful, clear, but slightly dark uh, broth. So just for the accompaniments for the Fobo, because the stock is the key, what I've done is I've got my rice noodles here, you gotta soak them. I mean, if you can use fresh rice noodles, that'd be great. But here in Australia, the fresh ones are, are chilled, and so therefore it makes it very hard to use. Um, then the next item that we have is some onion that I've just uh, soaked in some water and ice. Then I have some green shallots. Now I've done the same thing with the beef, that's why I wanted to show you, and I've kept the stock in here, or the water in here. So I've put a little bit of salt, and then I've washed it with a bit of uh, water, and you can see now the beef becomes opaque, and you can see all the blood that's starting to come out. That's what you're looking for. But otherwise, your stock that you've beautifully done will become cloudy. Then I've got a little bit of garlic, I've got a little bit of bean sprouts, and then I've got a little bit of coriander and Thai basil. Now, some in the South use only Vietnamese mint, some use Thai basil only, some use Vietnamese mint and coriander, and some places just use all of it. Now, it really doesn't matter which one you want to use, but I would always put a little bit of Thai basil in, and if you want to do a tiny bit of Vietnamese mint, you can do, or you just do coriander and keep it quite simple. So, let's, without further ado, go to the stove, soak the noodles, get the broth ready, and start preparing the soup. Okay, so, let's get our noodles ready. We'll just pop that into here. It's starting to soften up now. We'll just chuck that here. There we go. And we we'll just put that into here. Just quick blanch. And again, I've soaked the noodles for about uh, an hour now. And then just pop that here. Just refresh cold water. That just stops it cooking because they're nice and soft. There we go. So hot water, cold water. And I'm just going to pop that here. These noodles. There you go, perfect. Now for the beef. I get the beef, and I put the beef in a little bowl, like this. And then literally, for me, it's in, one, two, three, and then out. Just a little bit more. You're just wanting to give it a slight cook. And we put that on one side. There we go, do our bean sprouts the same. Literally one, two, three, take that out, we'll pop that back into here, and then we'll come over and we'll assemble the soup. Okay, so let's come over here now. We've got these noodles, we've got the broth. So I'm just gonna take some of these onions, I'm gonna take a little bit of that. I should see that for the moment. I'll just pour the broth over, put that onto here. Okay, look at that. Then we'll take a little bit of our onion, a little bit of our coriander. I'm just going to pop that onto here. Put some of our spring onion on there as well. Put some of our bean sprouts just on the side. I always like to blanch my bean sprouts because sometimes they can be a little bit dirty. So I like to give them just a quick toot toot. 
and then that's it done. Then we'll sprinkle uh, garlic on here as well. We've got a garlic on here. Here we have our faux bow with coriander, Thai basil, a little bit of Vietnamese mint and bean sprite. And to complement the dish, we have some chili vinegar, chili powder, sriracha sauce, fish sauce, lime juice, and also some more fresh herbs. And you adjust that to as you want. Normally the broth is generally pretty clean and not too much um, seasoning at all. And the main flavor is from that beef bones and broth that you've created. I've added a dash of fish sauce and now I'm gonna add in a dash of everything else to make it to my taste, because people like it in different ways. So hopefully you can make this at home as well.